Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation on searching Geobase via the Engineering Village platform. This is the second video in a three-part series that aims to demonstrate how to do a basic search within this database. You may already be familiar with the standard search interfaces provided through either EBSCO or ProQuest platforms. Shown here are the typical default search screens you will come across for an EBSCO database on the left side of the screen and a ProQuest database on the right side. If you remember back to the first video in this series, Engineering Village can also be viewed as an umbrella platform. It provides access to a variety of engineering related databases. Currently this platform offers access to 12 databases and the Pollock Library has a subscription to two of these sources, Compendex and Geobase the latter which we will focus on during these demonstrations. In contrast to the previous search interfaces, this is the default search screen for Geobase. Besides its unique appearance, it has some unique features which will be covered throughout this presentation, in addition to the next video on searching more advanced methods. You'll notice that by default, only Geobase content is selected. For our search purposes today, we will leave this the way it is, but do take notice that when adding Compendex to our search, the search field Geographic Terms is no longer available. This may influence your future search techniques. The top menu bar contains a drop-down for various searching methods including Quick, Expert, Thesaurus, and also a link to access your previous search history. All checkmarked records will appear within the Selected Records tab, and users may use their institutional login to create alerts to notify them when new content is added. Because we won't be able to cover everything within this brief demonstration, don't forget to use this question mark pull-down menu for a variety of training, tutorials, and other methods of gaining support. Clicking on the top help link will direct you to the Engineering Village's help and support menu. Here you can learn all about the various types of searches, general tips on using search operators and special characters, and hopefully everything else you'd want to know. A good place to start are both the quick search tips and what are the general rules for searching. To perform a basic search, you will begin at the home screen, and by clicking on the top menu button for search, you will want to then select the drop-down option for quick. Note that this is already the default option for searching. For this demonstration, we will search on the topic of soil samples through the use of augers, which is a tool for drilling holes in the ground. At this point, begin entering your keywords within the search box. To add additional search inputs, click on the plus sign labeled Add Search Field. No matter the complexity of your topic, using keywords in separate boxes, instead of typing your entire search as you may do in Google, will typically always produce better search results. If you're unsure of what keywords to use, imagine what a newspaper headline of your topic would contain. For this particular example, go ahead and type in soil sample into the first box. After adding an additional search field, next type in auger. Notice that as you begin typing, Geobase will provide recommended search terms provided by its integrated EI thesaurus or engineering index. If desired, this may be disabled by selecting the turn off option from the drop down menu or from the search screen by clicking Turn Off Auto Suggests. Additional features and use of the EI Thesaurus will be covered in the third video. Now that we have our search terms ready, click on the magnifying glass icon to perform your search. There are a total of 184 records. However, say you desire to exclude a specific term from this search. To perform this task, add another search field, this time selecting the drop-down option for the Boolean operator NOT. Now we can input the term FOREST to exclude this term from the search output. Doing so reduces the number of records down to 145. 
Remember that AND operators will always narrow your results, OR operators will expand your results, and NOT operators will exclude results containing specific terms. To save selected records for later use, you can checkmark the box next to each record's title. Doing so will add these items to your Selected Records tab, which may be accessed at the top of the screen. Alternatively, you may utilize the icons directly above the search output to email records to yourself, print an output of the records, or download the selected records as various output formats. To view additional information on a record, click on its title. From this page, you have access to the record's abstract, author affiliations, controlled terms, usage and citation counts, etc. To access the full text of a desired article, click on the Find It link, which will direct you to the Pollock Library's OneSearch catalog. Make sure you click on the Sign In option if you are not already logged into OneSearch. And lastly, if the full text is available, follow the provided links located under Online Access. In the next video, we will cover finding information based on a geographical location, advanced searching using the thesaurus search, how to make use of the auto-stimming feature, and additional methods to refine your results.